Kentucky, weighing 143 pounds, Lalani Kai. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 142 pounds, Joyce Grable. Most falls to curfew as two of the top lady wrestlers in the country square off Joyce Grable and Lalani Kai. We saw Lalani Kai score a win over Della Cooper the last time she was here on Wrestling at the Chase. In fact, she took two consecutive falls from Cooper and was quite impressive. But she has her hands full in Joyce Grable. Understand from Mike Gratchner, who's the president of this organization, the Wrestling Fans International Association picked Joyce Grable as the Lady Wrestler of the Year. That organization's a group of fans with membership throughout the United States and Canada, and they picked Joyce Grable as Lady Wrestler of the Year. And she certainly does have a tremendous record and one of the top challengers for the world women's champion, the fabulous Mula. But Lalani Kai can change a lot of that right here with a victory. Lalani has some wins of her own, some impressive wins, as we have witnessed to here in St. Louis. And if she could knock off Joyce Grable, Lalani Kai might well find herself in line for a crack at the fabulous Mula. Lalani twists that arm around on Grable, works on the wrist and hand. Joyce forced up to her tiptoes, trying to keep her balance from the pressure. And then Lalani Kai takes down Joyce Grable using the hair. Chuck Riley didn't see it. He was cautioning Grable about having her fist doubled, and he didn't see Lalani pull the hair. Most falls to curfew. Whichever girl has the most falls to her credit when time expires will be the winner. That time Riley caught Lalani Kai. I can understand where Chuck Riley get mad if Nature Boy Ric Flair pinched his cheek. Wonder what he'd do if Joyce Grable or Lalani Kai pinched his cheek. Oh, I think he would really flip his lip. He's had a rough day. That's the life of a referee. They all are rough. There is a, there's no easy day. There are no easy days for a referee. Lalani Kai comes up with the advantage, but just for a second. Flying mare by Grable. Out of one. Kai gets away. Side headlock by Joyce on Lalani Kai. To the ropes goes Joyce. Over the top. Oh, flying head scissors. Beautifully done by Joyce Grable. We've really had some tremendous action here on Wrestling at the Chase today, every day. Grable bouncing up on one foot to apply more pressure to Lalani Kai. That was a legal blow with the cupped hand, with the heel of the hand, so it was legal. Doesn't help Lalani any. <laughs> Another pop to the midsection from Joyce Grable. With all the action, a lot of people are still wondering about Nature Boy Ric Flair. When will he finally meet his Waterloo? You know, he hasn't even lost a single fall in St. Louis. He's been just a tremendous attraction and a great wrestler. The battle, though, may well come when the World Heavyweight title's on the line because to prove that he is the greatest, as he says he is, Nature Boy Ric Flair has to have that gold belt. Chuck Riley, he'd be happy if they let him alone. Gable says, what's my fault? She threw me on top of you. Riley says for crying out loud. Now uh -huh. Riley tells Grable to watch that fist. You're right. Riley's had a tough day. <laughs> Let me tell you, working these girls' matches can be just as rough as working the men's match. They move a little bit quicker because they're a little smaller. And if by accident you get bumped by one of them, let me tell you, it still hurts. A 140-pound package come flying into your midsection or land across your back. Chuck just laid the law down to... Uh, Miss Scrabble there, but she was real nice about it. She agreed with him 100%, and she belts him. <laughs> well, it's Lalani doing the belting right now. Grable throwing head first into the turnbuckle. And now Lalani's mad at Chuck. Lalani starts to strangle Joyce Grable. Pretty obvious, pulling of hair by Lalani Kai. Chuck Riley got to the count of four, one more, and Miss Kai would have been disqualified for the first fall. Grable strangled over the top rope by Lalani Kai, and then the uh, rope, or rather the cable, catapulted back into her throat. Lalani Kai covers Grable, and Lalani almost ends up on top of Riley. Get out of my way, says Lalani. Ah, oh, poor Chuck. Forearm smashed by Lalani, drops Joyce Grable. Hey, these two gals are having a rough and tumble match. Lalani Kai stepping across the throat of Joyce Grable. Joyce has been rattled. 
She's in trouble here. Lalani hits the ropes. Flying elbow drop to the back. Lalani Kai covers Joyce Grable. Kind of one, two, oh. Grable throws off Lalani Kai. Drop kick by Lalani Kai. Grable has to get something going and something going quickly. A hard smash to the stomach by Lalani. Grable fights back. Dish it out, don't they? Oh, that's been a rough match. Look at that. Grable yeah. thrown out of the ring. Looks like Ric Flair, King Kong Brody in there. At least the tactics being used. Rough and tumble match. Joyce Grable and Lalani Kai. You can tell that Lalani is psyched for this one. She wants a victory. And down goes Grable to the floor again. Count of 20 outside on the floor. Lalani charges in. Oh! She charged at Grable and missed. And now Grable's out of the floor after Lalani picks her up and slams her on the concrete floor. <laughs> well, I've seen everything today. Oh. Outside the ring shades of Dick the Bruiser and Ric Flair and King Kong Brody. Outside the ring, Joyce Grable gives Lalani Kai a body slam on the concrete floor. Oh. Into the ring comes Lalani Kai. Oh, flying front catapult by Joyce Grable. To the air, oh, the giant splash missed. The giant splash missed. Five minutes left, five minutes. Five minutes remaining, and at the pace these two gals are going, I don't think they're going to make it. Look out! They keep draining that pool. Lalani Kai missed a giant splash on Joyce Grable. No falls yet, but it certainly has not been for a lack of effort. Grable and Kai going at it, hammer and tong. Look at that. What a Donny Brook. By the hair, the flying. Look at that. She's got that long hair of Lalani Kai, and Lalani may be a little bald when it's all over. I think Chuck Riley's underneath there. Where's Chuck Riley? Riley's at? underneath. Kai rolled Grable over. Grable went over the top of Kai. And Chuck Riley's underneath. Riley trying to get untangled from the mess. And he's mad at Joyce Grable. Chuck's had just about enough. Joyce says it was Lalani Kai. I didn't do it. I'm telling you for the last time, says Chuck Riley. Yes, sir. After a little pitch on the cheek that Flair gave Riley, has really got him in a lot of trouble. Well, this has been a hot and heavy brawl, and I guess it was inevitable that sooner or later, the referee was going to get his two cents worth of the damage, too. Lalani dumps Joyce Grable and kicks Joyce in the back of the leg. Lalani working on Grable's leg. Going for a pin. Got a cradle there. Lalani can't keep Grable down, obviously. Knee stomp by Lalani Kai. Two minutes left, two minutes. Less than two minutes remaining, no falls yet. Body slammed by Lalani Kai, and a kick by Kai to Joyce Grable. Lalani's rough tactics have really helped her in this match. She had Grable in a lot of trouble. There's a front rolling cradle by Grable. Front rolling cradle out of one, two, at two. Lalani Kai gets away. Oh, a drop kick missed. Roll up cradle by Lalani Kai. This could be it. One, two. Joyce Grable barely escapes defeat. She missed the drop kick. Lalani countered with a roll up cradle, but Joyce Grable got away. Up, oh, no, leapfrog by Joyce Grable. Then the back rolling cradle count of one, two, three. That's it. The first fall belongs to Joyce Grable. We'll take a look at our clock. And our clock says that the rest period would eat up the remainder of the curfew. So Joyce Grable.